comrades. So, I have made some front lines. Um, it's, uh, right. Goodbye. And goodbye. And goodbye. And goodbye, Government of National Defense. And uh, hello, is it me you're looking for? It is! The east is red and it shall be continuing to get redder. This poor guy lost all his puppets. <laughs> he won't be as powerful, the US might become more it's interesting. Right on then. So, the war will start in September of this year. So, that'll be a big one. Um, I want to get China out of here. The yellow one. You know what I mean. Um, they guaranteed our independence. Oh, that's very sweet of you. <laughs> Alright. So. We bypassed their nationalism. Ooh, yes, indeed we did. Estimated army strength ratio of 50% or more compared to blank. More factories in 49. Um, I'm guessing that's supposed to be against regular China? We definitely have less than 49 factories. Um, however, we can get China Medical University. That would be very good to get. Because having three research slots the entire game has been a little oof in the backside of my boof. Ooh. That would be fun, wouldn't it? How many civvies do we have? Exactly five. Oh man, because so many of our things are military factories. Oh, we have six now. This is that. What are we trading out? Oh, we can get rid of a little bit of a steel trade. Yay! Export nothing, nothing, nothing. What the heck are we trading? Oh, we're using those to trade goods. Okay, yeah. <laughs> well, there's construction three. Um, we probably should get the better guns. Yeah, let's get the better guns. Cool. All right. Um, yeah. So uh, this is a bit of a problem. We're outnumbered, pretty severely.
harumph. Shit! You have four in some places. Well, we are part of the common turn at least, so we have that. Starting to think like uh, maybe in the uh, the peace conference we actually gave him something, some more stuff. But uh, you know what? Let's just keep it like this. The Soviet Union arbitrated um, this peace conference, and uh, well, the arbitration was obviously in our favor. They did get East Hebei and Dalian, but we got everything else. Although maybe they deserve Leontong. Yeah, sure, they can get layout on. Worst case scenario, I use more nukes in order to get what I want, which is all of China, obviously. <laughs> hmm. Oh, right, we need front lines. Hello, front lines. Time to go chicky chicky boom boom. Chicky chicky. Chicky chicky boom boom chicky chicky chicky. Chicky chicky boom boom chicky chicky chicky. We can modify the government. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, I never did go to war economy. Let's do that. Yay. A few more factories? That's nice. Alright, cool. Well, I guess we should just do speed 5. Um, infiltration. We can infiltrate some places. Infiltrate nationalist areas. We cannot match nationalists in open combat just yet. We should husband our strength build new base areas to spread the enemy thin. When the time is right, we will spring the uprising. Our communist cells will perform seven dollars in infrastructure and military factories or form militia divisions to seize control of the state, depending on the level of infiltration. Okay. Cool. Alright. We can infiltrate a lot of places. Alright. Yeah, that's there. Hebei, Beijing, Henan. Jiangsu, Shandong. So we can only infiltrate up here, which is kind of interesting. Can't infiltrate over here for some reason. And maybe it's because it actually belonged to us. Nah. Um, it belonged to us the entire time. <laughs> well, I don't know, do I want to do some role-playing? want to do some, like, hey, the peasants over here really liked us, so we get to shorten our front line by taking these two, uh, these two provinces, these two states. We were able to push them out of Dalia, or out of Liantong, maybe, and East Hebei. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. China Medical.
Ball and Trump, Ribbon and Trump. <laughs> Our new different friend. A rump. Um, let's infiltrate Beijing. Oh, okay. Not infiltrating a state. So next we'll infiltrate Hebei. Hebei! Time to infiltrate a new state! <laughs> oh yeah, so what if I wanted to add... I don't have engineers yet, but what if I tried to add artillery? Actually, pretty decent, um, as far as stuff goes. Volunteer core man, your beast boot. I guess we're in the same faction. Probably gave us a few divisions of mountaineers. And we can infiltrate more. Oh. Ooh, so we've infiltrated Beijing already. of the following effects. Infrastructure and military factories will be sabotaged. Let's infiltrate a bay. There. The rest of you go there. Do do ba do Sude. Alright. Uh, well, I need someone to take care of this up here, so you will do that. Go to Dalian. It is nice this time of <laughs> year. Uh, we, you guys are yellow before, you can be yellow again. Alright, there you go. What can I do? I can launch a communist uprising. Don't care. At least not right now. I think I might want to infiltrate these states fully before I do any sort of communism. Let's do some engineer companies. And when mentioned we shall get engineers. We have a lot of guns. Let's do that. China Medical University. This is what they were talking about when they were saying head off to uni. Alright, um, we want improved artillery? Eh, sure, it's pretty short to get. Might as well, I suppose. If we ever do get our artillery. Oh! I guess it's November this time around for some reason, but. Yep. The war! The war! The war! We've already got an aggression pact with the Soviet Union. Army joint tank development. France is gonna capitulate soon. Could do British cooperation. Yeah, I let's not bother with any of that. 
that for now. Let's go with... People's Liberation Army, the PLA! German Reiki Dikey did the dingy dingies. And Poland joined the Allies. Oh boy! Beijing base area attacked. Enemy forces begin their attack on base area in Beijing. No message has been received from our comrades in the state. The enemy press is reporting the conclusion of the Beijing encirclement and eradication campaign. We must assume the worst. I'm guessing that means that we lost a level of infiltration or something. <laughs> okay, you will go there. Oh yes, and you will get trained. Okay, goody goody. Available civvies. Nice. How many available cities? Just a few. Alright, we could have some spas. Do we want to get some spas? Perhaps. Be fun to have some spas. However, we might also want to do up our infrastructure. How long will that take? Just 31 days. Alright. Let's do up the infrastructure around the front lines. Huh, that's fun. We can do infrastructure for them if we wanted to. Well, that's not the front lines. But yeah, we'll do a level and like up to 60% everywhere. Of course, I'm also almost forgetting that we need some feckin' railways in this bitch. Oh yeah. Alright. Well, let's see here. Hooray! How long will this railway take? 148 days, and that's that's for a level four. It can just be a level three. That should be good. And I will create. Holy shit! That's a fucking long ass name. What 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 the fuck is this name? Intelligence Department Central Military Commission. Let's just call it the Intelligence Department. You feckin' idiots. Jesus. It does not need to be so long. Uh, uh, there it all goes. Beijing again! And poor Poland capitulated. We don't need that. We got plenty of wall tension, or war support. And we'll get more. The Netherlands joined the Allies. Belgium. in time. Don't care. Um, oh, I forgot to see if I could change up my thingamadiggies. Uh, so logistics companies. Mm, nope. Nope. 
What about support artillery? Meh. What about an engineer company? Nope. What if I want to just cavalry gun? That would actually be okay, but I don't want reconnaissance. It doesn't make me... Let's do some support artillery. That's it. We officially added it. Modify the government again. Eh. We're creating an intelligence agency right now, so I think we'll save that for one. It's done. There you go. Low King. Um, I guess we'll get the commando training just to do that. Oh yeah, we'll actually get it before the recruiting operative. Look, I plan things. Denmark joined the Allies. In real life, they capitulated in only 10 hours. Understandably so. Force the three rules. And what are those three rules? Follow orders. Don't steal from the presence. Turn in everything captured by the enemy. longer to rescue them before they either die or give up after being captured. Shanghai, as opposed to Shang Goodbye. Alright. Mechanized offensive, I guess. What's this? Oh! <laughs> They will take 
Let's control the state and we'll get militias. Nice. No. I said takes control of foreign affairs. Oh yeah, okay. Please don't join the Axis. I don't understand why they always join the freaking Axis. I mean, I know it's like connected to a, a historical event. Um, basically, the United Kingdom um, was like, Hey Iceland, we don't want Germany to invade you, so we're going to set up our navy to protect your coastline, is that okay? Iceland was like, no, we're good. The United Kingdom was like, we don't care. <laughs> technically, that's an act of war, so technically the UK was at war with Iceland. I guess the game takes that literally. <laughs> and thus, uh, yeah. Wait. UK is supposed to have a focus tree to do the empire. I'm a, I guess I don't have that that one. Uh... Huh. I, I, that's that's weird. I guess I don't have whatever DLC it is, but I swear that it was. No, was it? Was it, to, I don't, was it together for victory? And where is the Help Iceland thingy? I don't know, but whatever. I swear that there was a thing. It was actually in the Soka Street. Hmm. Eh, yeah, well. But yeah, Iceland will probably join the Axis. <laughs> Just letting you guys know. <laughs> Suicide Bills. Alright. start getting our departments within the department. Oh yeah, this one's an interesting one. Deputy Fuhrer Rodolf Hess was arrested by Home Guard soldiers in Scotland after parachuting from a heavy fighter. <laughs> he uh, took it upon himself to negotiate a peace treaty between Britain and Germany. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I actually can't remember if that is like what happened in our timeline, or if he actually was shot down, I can't remember. But, eh, Vichy France is gone. And Finland rejects the Soviet demands. Oh, Lithuania accepted them, though. <laughs> Ooh, natural orator. And a seducer, Zi Ru Zhao. Or, actually, Zi Ru Zhao. Yi. Yee yee yee. Yee yee. Yee. What do we want to do? I guess we can help build the Intel network. Engineers. Alright. Um. Oh, it's the 40s. Do we want anything? No. Time to go over here then. Probably doing like everything wrong. Beijing again. And there she goes again. Let's do that. Call to arms against Finland? Well, I mean, it would make me technically at war, I suppose, so sure. I'll do it. So, um, does that mean you'll give me some toy artillery? Cool. Not that, I understand. Oh, not that. Ooh, this means that if I were to edit my thingies, I think that I would actually get some stuff. Oh, 
would have enough infantry. Ooh, I would not. <laughs> this would be close enough for me. Um, so it'll be 16 combat with, I suppose. Alright, I want engineers. Yeah, that'll do. Alright. Leave it. And... Hello there! Please send help. Thanks. Start land lease. They want to provide us even more stuff. Cool. Consumer goods, and then a little bit less stability in political power. Okay. <sighs> we could, but it might be overkill. In my, I think it's overkill in my opinion, so we will do ban the opium trade. And it makes more sense anyways to do that. So yay. Now, what I want to do is I want to add logistics. Please help me bump a Stalin. We add trucks to that. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't it be glorious to have the East be red? Law. Artillery, diggy me diggy. Hmm. Well, I guess we can do excavation. Well, we're a little bit over time, but, uh, yeah. So, Coolio, we're doing stuff. Thank you guys so very much for watching. And, until next time, solidarity forever.